Hi everyone, this is Spencer with MemberPress, and hopefully before viewing this video, you've already had a chance to view our video on the basics of MemberPress rules. In today's video, I'm planning on going over, the, in more depth, the many features that MemberPress offers you when creating or editing your rules in MemberPress. So to start off, you're, wanting, you're going to want to go to the Rules tab of MemberPress, and either click Add New or Edit an Existing Membership. I'm going to edit an existing membership because this one has some features that I already want to discuss. So, as was discussed in the previous video, MemberPress will automatically generate this title for you based on the rule type and the content that you're protecting, but you can edit this to be whatever you want. You can also specify which members, or which members who have purchased which membership will have access to the content that you're trying to protect. Everyone else will receive an unauthorized message. So this rule is just protecting a single page. So let's go over the many different rules that you can create in MemberPress. First, let's go over all content. MemberPress allows you to protect all content no matter what it is, whether it's a page, post, custom post type, and you can protect it with this one rule. And you can select the ex you can enter any ID as, sta as stated here of the pages or posts that you want to ex um, exclude from this rule, meaning that they will not be protected. So you'd enter those there. This accept field is applied to any rule that has an all before it. So that would be there for all content categorized, all content tagged, all post, etc. Using the rule to protect all content will not protect your registration page by default. So you don't need to worry about putting that ID in here because that would make sense. The users can first have access to be able to register to your site to have access to your content. So now I'm going to go over some of the other cool features of these rules. Like I mentioned, you can protect custom post types. Any custom post types that you have in MemberPress will automatically be populated here. As you can see here, I have three custom post types for my trial, silver, and premium articles. And those appear here in the form of being able to protect all of one custom post type or a single custom post type. Now, for any, one of, the, any of these that you protect for like a single content, you're going to want to enter in the title here. Like was on my other <coughs> rule before I changed this, it was protecting one single page. And so you want to enter in that title here. And MemberPress will help you by searching for that for you. Now, no matter what rule you create, MemberPress offers partial content codes for that rule. You can use the short code that's listed here that has the memberships, this rule specific ID, to protect any content that goes in between this short code. You can also protect content like widgets with this PHP snippet, using the content to protect in between going in here. Now, I won't be going into too much more depth on that in this video, but for those of you who want more information on how to hide widgets, you can go to this page in our user manual entitled Hide Widgets from Unauthorized Members. Basically, what you need to do is download the Widget Logic plugin and then enter in that shortcode that's listed here, like it is given in this example, into Widget Logic and then save. And that will hide the widget from any unauthorized users. So that's a basic rundown of the partial content codes that MemberPress offers you with its rules. Now I'm going to go over the drip and expiration features of membership rules. What drip does is allows you to drip content, or in other words, allow users, even paying users, to see the content after a certain trigger has happened. So you can set that to be any X amount of days, weeks, months, or years after one of the following triggers. Either when the member registers, that's registering for your site, not necessarily for any particular membership. So whoever registers will be able to have access um, to seeing this content. After a fixed date in the future, especially good for if you want to have a, a special release date for something, but you don't want users to be able to see it before. When a member purchases any product that has to do with this rule, or when a member purchases any of your memberships. And those memberships will be listed here. So I want to show you an example of 
this, a drip, being taken in action for my site. So if I go to a page, I have this premium videos, and each video is set to drip. And so it's protected by a rule. And so that rule, it's a link, and it's not showing up here, right? But when a user who has access to this content will be able to see the drip that's been available to them. So I'm going to sign up real quick, or log in real quick with a user who has access to that so you can see that. So I've logged in as that user, and as you can see, this content has been dripped. So let me just go through a real quick run through of how I set this up so you can get a better understanding of the drip feature in MemberPress. So if I go back to my rules page, you'll see I have each of these pages protected here. In this case, I have a video on each page, and so it's a single page rule. Now let's go to one video in particular, video four. So if I go down here, you can see my drip feature is set to be four weeks after the member purchases my premium membership, because those are premium videos. Now if I go back to my like second one, this one's set to be dripped two weeks after the member purchases premium. So I have these set to be one week after the other. With drip features, you have to set a rule for each content that you want to be dripped separately. So in this case, for each video, I have a different rule that drips the content one week after the next. Okay, so this user, we can know, has been registered for at least four weeks because they have access to video four. Okay, so I can click on that and I'll actually be able to have access to that video. Now, what happens if I log out and I'm on this page? Well, since I found the page, I'll be redirected back to, well, what I should because I don't have access to that page. So that's a rundown of how the drip feature works. It's very powerful. Now for expiration. You can enable expiration on your content, meaning that your users will be able to, paying users will be able to see it, but after this um, expiration is triggered, then your paying users won't be able to see it either. This is great if you want to have like a limited time offer, for example. And remember, the drip and expiration feature are in no way um, related. Or in other words, the one doesn't depend on the other and the other way around. They can be independent. And this expiration works relatively the same way as the drip does. You can have it um, the, the content expire after any of those previously mentioned triggers and after an X amount of days, weeks, months, or years. So those are those features for you. Now let's go over the unauthorized access. Make note that anything that you enter in here will override the global settings for unauthorized access handling and member press options for content protected by this rule. So if you're in your options and you have any of these things set, whatever is the default is what will automatically appear by default. But you can change each of these. You can edit the excerpts to be either hide, meaning they won't be able to see them at all, or you can do a read more tag, you can do a post excerpt, or you can do a custom excerpt of any X amount of characters that you want to enter. And MemberPress will figure that out for you. So this is especially useful for posts if you only want to protect, if you want to protect only part of the document and give users a chance to kind of read a little bit and then push them to register for your site to be able to read the rest of the article. So that's a great feature. Another is the unauthorized message. You can actually either hide the unauthorized message altogether. For example, you might want to hide the unauthorized message for one particular content and then show a login form on that page. Or you can create a custom unauthorized message that will be particular for this content that you're trying to protect. And again, you can show, hide, or whatever you want for the login form. So going back to my first page that I opened at the beginning of this video, I wanted to show you what that unauthorized message would look like. So here's a custom one that I've entered in that is specific for this one. And in the previous video, you saw the interaction of that. So I hope that you find that helpful. In conclusion, I just want to direct you to a few pages of our user manual if you have further questions about MemberPress rules. If you go to the available shortcodes um, page of the MemberPress 
user manual, then you'll be able to find access to many of our short codes. And one in particular I want to um, direct you to that's based on rules, and it's the MEPR Active short code. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but just be aware that if you want to be able to protect content, just like your other short code kind of did, but in a more specific way, then this is the page where you're going to want to go to be able to find out more about how to do that. Another cool thing that you can do with MemberPress, or another cool thing that I'm going to direct you to, is just this page in general where you are viewing this video. Here we have a basic description of the different kind of rules that you can protect with MemberPress. So I hope you find that helpful. If you have any more questions about how to use rules or the functionality of them, then send us a support question. Thanks.